Sometimes I feel like I'm not strong enough for this fandom. And then I look at Mingi and it makes sense. Roll the clip. Just, <sighs> Jeez Louise. That wasn't an edit. He was kind of sprung. He was kind of sprung. Jeez Louise. Mingi, Mingi, Mingi. Oh, this other outfit for, oh my God. I know him keeping up that hair color is probably hell on earth, but it looks so good on him. He looks like a, a wolf or a ghost. He looks very dangerous. It looks like he would overtake you in, in multiple ways and you'd be here for it. I'm even here for like the fake tattoos. I mean, it's doing what it needs to do. I swear to God, there are no pants in this world that can contain this man. He's always looking to bust out of pants, always. But I'm glad he abandoned this shirt, uh, the in this other outfit from Coachella. Jeez Louise. I hope they go back to Coachella next year. I don't know if they'll have time because of touring, but they did just such an amazing freaking job at that event. Their outfits, the stage. I love the little documentaries that came afterwards, just highlighting what they went through as far as like pre preparation for the Coachella stages. Just having like a behind the scenes look at ATs and all that they do just gives us another side of these men. Obviously they're professionals, but they're also people at the end of the day. So I'm really happy that we do get to see some behind the scenes stuff from them, but God damn me. God damn. Freaking A. Freaking A. All right. Let's see what other things we have here from Mingi. Oh man. Stylist me. Putting this man in silky pants. You already know that the pants can't hold this man. These pants cannot control this man. These pants cannot contain this man. I also love the fact that the jacket is asymmetrical as well. Because with this... Mm, what, is this what is the word? With this optical delusion, your little eyeballs are just going down to what where the business is at on this man. Like... His proportions are just insane. And I'm going to say this until the cows come home. This man is shaped like a Greek god. He looks like a freaking Greek statue. We need some pool shots of this man sans shirt and in shorts and or pants, whichever makes him more comfortable while he's outside enjoying himself by the pool. Because I know, I know he fucking looks good under them clothes. You can tell. You can freaking tell. Okay, calm me down. Calm me down. Yo song, I do not need to see your arms. I do not. Just, jeez oh, Louise. It, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. If this man is your bias or your ult, please get him. Collect him off of the stage immediately for the love of God. Imagine the captain leave you alone. Crazy word. <laughs> Shanice, I need the captain to leave me alone. Seriously, get off of my neck, sir. Get off my neck. Mingi wrecks me differently. Like at this point, get rid of the pants. He won't do that because it's it's illegal. Oh no, Anna. Anna, I'm sorry. Like we're going to have to fight. Like we're going to have to fight or we're going to have to share Mingi it, at this point. I'm, I'm so sorry, but it, it's going down. It's going down for real. The Rocky choreo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. Oh geez. I can't. I can't. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I cannot. Oh my God, hold on, I'm just going through it right now, y'all. This is one of my favorite shots from Coachella. Again, look at this man's torso. Put some respect on his name. This man has been in the gym. This man has been in the fucking gym, 100 fucking percent. You can't tell me otherwise. He did a short earlier this week. I can't wait. We're going to watch it. Obviously, we're going to go to TikTok in a couple of minutes, but you'll see. I don't I don't want to I don't want to give it away. Again, this broadcast will be a little bit spicy oriented because this man is just spicy oriented. Like I can't help it. Like look what he's doing. He's doing things that cause spice thoughts. Why are you always grabbing it? Is it lost? Should we call a search party? Is he telling us where it's located? Does he have some sort of memory lapse issue? I don't know, but this man is always searching for little Malik. Sir, young Malik is nowhere but on your body. You don't have to keep 
touching and reaching for it. You, you just don't have to. Here he is looking down at young Malik, just making sure he's still there. And he is. And he is. Just, uh, oh man, oh, a faraway shot. Look at this man. Take him in. Take him in. Anna, look at your man. Look how he's acting up. He's acting up. These are my thoughts whenever I see Mingi. WTF, Mingi. W. Which one? Is it the Brandy one or is it the, um, what is her face? Ari Ariana Grande. The boy is mine. Please. Please. I don't think anyone can can deal with Mingi in a, in a physical way because this man is going to run you over like a freaking freight train. This man was taking his clothes off all year. All year this man was taking his clothes off for us. I think he wants us to like track his progress as far as his physical form is concerned. But he, he's been doing it for a really long time. For a very, very long time this man has. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mr. Song Mingi. We always think it's San who wants to be half naked or Songwa, but it's also Mingi as well. Mingi is just an absolute freaking tease. Them at Summer Sonic, when we thought we were going to be getting Water Bomb, I felt like this was a precursor to what we were going to get as far as outfits were concerned, except it would be wet. This little football inspired jersey on him that gives you the ability to see a little bit of tum tum. Spec fucking tacular. Spectacular. The way this man is shaped, the stylist is a blessing to us. The jewelry, this man loves to accessorize. Holy cow. L look at him. I'm going to go back to Summer Sonic, but. Even in this business attire, this man is serving See You Next Tuesday. Just so stunning. So stunning. Look at this. Look at this shit. Mm -mm -mm. These men always need, oh my God. I don't know who shows their tongue more at this point. Mingi, Songwa, Hongju. Those three are battling it out all the time. All right, it was the brandy one. Hold on, how does that one go? The boy, no, that's not it. The boy is mine. I need to give it up. I've had about enough. He belongs to me. The boy is mine. Mm. I love that Mingi is thick. I don't want him to lose weight. Mingi, and like in the Inception era, he was like, he was like slim Mingi. But he is moving back towards like thick Mingi, but ultra thick Mingi has like those gigantic thighs. And I don't think the man can fit any sort of pants because no men are built like Mingi. I feel like Mingi is like an anomaly as far as physical bodies are concerned because Lord, mm -mm -mm. Mingi and San are the ones who had me looking at ATs like, mm, they fine. San could literally be an actor or a model at this point. San is just getting more stunning every single freaking day. He looks unreal. I don't know if you saw his logbook that came out this week for Dolce & Gabbana, but man, man. Chris, I hope that you liked my singing because I felt it was good. Period, girl, <laughs> sing it. You're welcome. You are welcome. I was going to do on camera today, but I just did not feel like it. I'm, next Saturday, I'm going to try to go for on camera because sometimes it's a bit more fun to see like expressions and just, oh my God, just breaking down in real time. God damn. What the fuck? Hold on. Jesus Christ. Man. Look at him. This man has a tiny ass waist. Jesus Christ. We need the measurements on all the members of ATs because God damn, I want to know how big Mingi's ass is. What are them hips? What are them hips, sir? Look at his face. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We are going to get messed up on this next leg of the tour. I swear to God. Once that European air hits these men, we are done for. And trust me, I am looking into going overseas to see these guys. 
the old VIP and like all the, the big packages as far as like send off and sound check are concerned, them sons of bitches sold out like five seconds. I was like, God damn, your teenies leave something for us Americans. But you know, obviously they don't want us over there because we're going to take all their tickets. Um, but I wanted to go to the shows in Germany. So I'm looking to see ATs in Germany next year. I just reinstated my passport yesterday. So hopefully it gets here by December to hopefully see if I can see the guys. And if I can, I'll be, I'm going to tell you guys, but Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. I love that his sauce's name is Malik. <laughs> I'm sure it's well-deserved. Wink, wink. You know, yeah. Young Malik, little Malik, as, as the people call his package area, that, that thing always be out. Like we know this man gets excited to perform on stage. Let's just say that. And I don't think that's a lie or a exaggeration. When this man is on stage, he is not holding back how he feels or these pants are just very snug around his twig and berries. I don't know, but in any event, this man loves to be on stage. I love to see this man on stage. He has a amazing stage persona and presence. The members of ATs, I don't know what they're feeding these men, but when these men are on the stage, they kill it. They fuck up the stage, especially this fucker right here, Mr. Kim Hong Joon. Exceptional stage presence, truly exceptional stage presence. You cannot leave an ATs concert unattacked there's just no freaking way unless unless you are insane you're just very strong mentally but these men they get it they know what we like to see they know we like throats we like necks we like adam's apples we like collarbone we like a little bit of chest we love accessories it's unfair it's unfreaking fair <sighs> I'm just upset now because to all the 18 who have had, have had barricade, how does it feel to be God's favorite? You've been chosen. You were chosen to, to be in the presence of these men less than like 20 feet away. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. This freaking guy. All right. So Pinterest sees this man as very vibrant while he's on stage. Sees him a little bit spicy, very sexy, very uh, humble and kindness coded. But what does TikTok say about Mr. Song Mingi? We already know. We already know that TikTok is going to say a lot of things about Mr. Song Mingi. So that is exactly where we are going to go right now. But the captain, just talking about him briefly, he was in the airport this week looking like a whole dad. I woke up at 4.30 in the morning to see these men um, off from the airport. It seems to be my new favorite thing to do. The captain looked so cute. I just wanted to put him in my freaking pocket. Mingi also was very loud during this time as well, but very, very obviously cute. So we understand that Mingi holds a lot of power and he does understand it. So what do you think about Mingi's crazy form? Drop it down below for the rest of the class and let us deep, deep, let us dive deeper into the anomaly of Mr. Song Me. Let us, let us. All right, the captain almost got me, but you can catch the rest of the episode linked down below. I'll see you there. Bye.